We are here in the building, y'all. I am Dante Payne, and we got a exciting show for you. It's about to go down, as I say. And I mean, it's going down. Great show. So, let's talk about MLB right now. So, Manny Machado, right, he decided that he was going to opt out at the end of the season. Um, But that scene has to change because now he just got an 11-year contract worth $380 million. Can I be a baseball player? I can run some bases. I can work on hitting. But can I be a baseball player? I could be a prospect. I ain't got to. If I'm making that type of money, I ain't. Just let me be. Let me be up there. Let me. Let me. Let me in on the situation. Let me get quacking. And I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to relax. I'm going. I'm going to enjoy it to the fullest of the extent. That's what I'm going to do. And that's how it's going down. Um, Yeah. So big us to him on that. You get get the nice updated contract, eleven year, and you stand with the Padres. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So big us to him on that. Hey, it is what it is. You got paid. Now build on it. Keep them there, because or else somebody else would have paid them and. That's just the bottom line of that. So, you know, that was pretty good of them to do that, you know. Now, we got we got bigger things to fry. We got other things to fry. Um, I did mention that the Cactus League is starting. Um, yeah, we definitely are in captain's lead, so that's starting. That's good. That's going on. And, yeah. That's going on. That's getting, um, more views. I can give y'all the standards of that, what's happening right now. The Cubs won. It was like 10 to 3 the other day. So, Big ups to that. The other team, like, they looking good. But so with the Cactus League, it's basically to work out new players that you got with the team. It's a way to um, basically, yeah, work out new players that you got, potential signaries, people who going to make that roster come the regular season. When that starts, and you know that's getting ready to start real soon. Captain's week is like a few weeks, so it goes into March. I think first game of the baseball season is March, so like this is like spring ball basically right now. And yeah, like I'm really liking what I see. I like the things that I'm getting from that, and all around, like everything is just. It's going down in the gym. It's going down. So I'm just like, like I said, I'm liking what I'm seeing from everybody. I'm liking the, yeah, I'm just liking what I got going on, what's going on, how it's going on. I like it all. So I like that. Um, Standards right now, we do got the Chicago Cubs versus the L.A. Dodgers for spring training. So, we got that going on. We got the Chicago White Sox versus Los Angeles Angels also as well. Um, And we had quite a few events that happened the other day. Like I said, Cubs won. It was like 10 to 2, but... Captain's lead. Let's see if they can convey that over to the regular season. 
and build upon that. And so thinking about the Sox, like even though they're losing people right now, they still, you know, they're still there. Like they still be able to move. Like they got people that's injured far as the Sox wise, but they're still there. So let's see how that goes. And I'm one to see, but like right now, Kansas City Royals looking real good in spring training, and and they play too. But the Texas Rangers and the Diamondbacks, they not look so good. It's uh they started out zero two, but and the Sox lost one too. But you know we got more games today, so we'll see. If that's better. Like I say, it's a way of. Uh, Basically, working out new players, especially you got new coaching staff, so everybody can get used to each other, build up a repertoire, chemistry, you know, that sort of thing, stuff like that. And we like it. Um, White Sox minor league pitcher Anderson Coleman says he's gay, so he's basically coming out as gay, but yet he is a talented young man. He does work. He do, like he do his due diligence. He like, yes, I'm gay, but I'm also a great player. I'm a great person as well. And I like when they say things like that, because it's just like, yeah, um, you don't want that. Like, you don't want that at all. So, big ups to him on that. And, like I said, keep doing what you do. Keep up the hard work and all that stuff. Keep doing what you do. Um... And we, we'll keep moving on with that and, you know, just keep going forward. Which is a good thing, you know, you feel me? It's a good thing. Oreos have a new, they plan to have a new lease done by the summer for their ballpark. So they would like to get a new lease done. Hoping, you know, sometimes things like that, you want to make sure your players have somewhere to play. Your team that's representing your town. You make sure you, you want to make sure they have somewhere to play. And Yankees DJ LeMathieu avoids surgery. He said his foot is a hundred percent. So he had a like a I guess he had a stress reaction last season, and which sidelined him. But he said his foot is a hundred percent. And like I say, he in spring training. Spring training began on the twenty fourth. So some of these teams already played two games. Some of them. Played less, and 24th is a good day because that was my mom's birthday. So my mom was out chilling, having fun, relaxing, and stuff like that. But, yeah, that was my mom's birthday. So all-star Jason Kipp has announced his retirement. He last played with the Cubs in 2020, and then he was playing – Um minor league as well and overseas so he announced his retirement Cubs added right hander Michael Fulmar to a one year deal that's worth 4 million as well as place reliever uh, Cody here on 60 day IL so they they was doing that Tigers, Miguel Cabral hopes for this year to be a fun year for him since this is his final year. And, yeah, since he says this is his final year, he want to have fun. He want to go out with a bang, you know, kind of like Albert Pujols. He went out with a bang. First baseman Luke Voigt and outfielder Tyler Nakwa joins the Brewers with minor league deals, so let's see how that goes. Like I said, work it out. And 
Padres, Fernando Tatis Jr. It will be eased back into the lineup. So he didn't play this past Friday, but you might see him in spring training. I still think he got like 20 games or so left to serve on his uh, suspension for a PED. And we got a pitch clock. We got new rules. We got a couple new rules. So we got a pitch clock. We got the batter must. It's that batter must be in the batter's box at eight second. Um, and a couple other rules like it was weird at first, but. Yeah, it was it was weird. So like the pitch clock violation is the it caused the uh Braves Red Sox games to end in a tie, which is crazy. <laughs> they were like the Braves thought he just won the game with a two out bases loaded walk off on Sunday. So I was just like, oh, okay. When, like I said, I'm uh, I'm about to tell y'all some of these new rules. Give me one second. I'm going to just pull this up right now. Because, like I said, they, spring training is also the way to test these rules out so you can get used to it come the regular season. All right. Let's see. Yeah, so the new rules. Pitch timer. Less waiting, more action. 15 seconds with bases empty, 20 seconds with runners on. Violations of this rule are automatic ball or strike. Shift restrictions. More hits, athleticism. Two infielders. On each side of second base. Infielders need both feet on dirt at at pitch release. And they also increased the size of the bases this year. So we got bigger bases this year. So increased safety, aggression, base running. Base go from 15 inches to... Uh, 18 inches. So that's a that's a new increase. It go from 15 to 18, um, which I thought was pretty pretty hefty. Cause yeah, it go from 15 inches to 18 inches wide. Yeah, that's a pretty wide base. So that's that, and that reduces injuries. Due to the large bases, which was tested in the minor leagues, it reduced the injuries um, that was suffered for people when they slide to base and got tagged and stuff like that. So with the large bases, it's supposed to help reduce injuries because people can basically not be on the base. Like collisions happen. So I'm down for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm so down for that, and I like what I've seen from that. And, yeah, it was awesome. It was so awesome that, you know, I laughed. But that's that's some of the, that's the new things that they eat. Yeah, that they uh changed. And the pitch clock thing, so yeah, it's the speed up game because sometimes a baseball game could be super long just for no apparent reason. 
And, yeah, when you see that, like I said, a baseball game can be super long for no apparent reason. You realize that everything, yeah, everything seems to have its own end. Everything goes down. Everything, it just seems dra- like it's being dragged out. And that's what I get from with that. So with the pitch clock, it's like, oh, let me hurry up and make my call. And basically, let me hurry up and get this pitch off. And that's what I see, but you know. But you want to know who who was funny? Manny Mikado, who just got this up his upgrade. He committed the first pitch violation, which is funny. So that's funny. That's hilarious. He committed the first pitch violation, but like I said, it's something getting used to. Y'all got all spring to do it. And let's see how it goes down. That's all I got as far as baseball right now, guys. We got more music coming up on Dragon Sports Live. Thanks for rocking with us and listen to it live with Dragon Sports Live. What we got coming up? Mm, I'll tell you. <laughs> we got King Jack Fast Life featuring Do Some Rico on Dragon Sports Live, followed by Alan Stone Upside. Here on Drag Sports Live. Yes, sir. Snap, don't come and ask no, us. Snap. We bring the weed, you bring the dust. No, you can't match you us. Match We're trying to tell these goofy niggas, get your racks up. Right. I ain't worried about a thing, but get my cash right. Cash I do a right. hundred on the block, that go my gas light. Uh, I see you watching uh, all my moves, you got that flashlight. Watch. But I ain't stopping till I get it, that's that fast life. Fast. That's that fast life. Fast. That's that fast life. Fast. I'm burning rubber, counting numbers, that's that fast life. Fast. Get the guala, fuck the drama, that's that fast Stay with it, know they bout that fast life. Remember days I was broke, now I got my bag right. Smoking on that space, higher with them satellites. Make 10 off of that chase, long as that shit crack right. Busting all of them moves, made a way so we could lose. In that purple rolling up rules, where they loud stand on mules. Switching lanes like they shoot channels. All these square niggas so flannel, let them serialize my panel. Got your bitch open, no handle, she gone. I ain't greedy shit, I won't even smash twice. I got your bitch open, gone on for half pint. That nigga mad can't get a grip, yeah, he pants tight. But she can't help it, she addicted to that fast life. I ain't worried about a thing but get my cash right. I do a hundred on the block that go my gas light. I see you watching all my moves, you got that flashlight. But I ain't stopping till I get it, that's that fast life. That's that fast life. That's that fast life. I'm burning rubber, counting numbers, that's that fast life. Get the guala, fuck the drama, that's that fast life. I'm counting commas on my mama, that's that fast life. 
life. Turning me How I treated you But nonetheless I believe That this will be the death of me The sunrise And nightfall And back behind Behind it all To another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I am Dante Payne, and it is going down in the deal. It's going down. <laughs> no, but in NFL news, though. And if you just missed baseball, I'm sorry. But you can also catch it again on YouTube.com at D O N P E 1, or you can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio. 
or wherever you get your podcast. Because this is Dragon Sports Live, and I'm Dante Payne. But we'll continue moving on. So, in the NFL, the commanders officially named Eric Bieniemy as offensive coach as well as assistant head coach. He will be in charge of the offense, and he will call the plays. Andy Reid just said wherever he goes, hopes that it, that Eric Bieniemy runs the show, that he calls the shots, and that's what there's been supporter of Bieniemy. So it's like, yes, he went to another team, took the same role, and you don't have Patrick Mahomes. Um, yeah, you don't have Patrick Mahomes. You don't have Travis Kelsey, even though you drive it, you drafted both Travis and Jason Kelsey. You don't have them. You don't have Mercole Holton. You got like you got McLaurin. You got Taylor Haneke. You got Carson Wentz. Wait, did he coach? Was he? Was Carson Wentz his quarterback? Either way, you don't when you don't have that Mahomes factor. So let's see what you can do. Like if you do all those things with these people that you did with the uh, Chiefs offense, mm, ain't nothing to tell you. But to be honest, he should be a head coach in this league, and he's not right now, which is crazy. But he definitely should be a head coach. At least I think so. So, let's see what they're going to do. And I want to know what the Giants are going to do as well. Because the simple fact that the league year started, right? You also have, um, they have until March 7th to designate the tag. So, it's tag season with the exclusive tag, franchise tag, whatever. You you have up to March 7th. So, I, I want to know. And I want to see what's going on. Like, you got both Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones, who are both free agents this league year. Are you going to sign both to long-term deals? Are you going to sign one at the moment and then franchise tag and put the tag on the other until you can get a long-term deal. Like, what are we going to do? Somebody may walk, somebody may not walk, but the question is, what's going to happen? What are y'all going to do? And, yeah. That, that happened. So, we don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out. Um, we definitely gonna find out. Mr. Man, Aaron Rodgers, is finally out of his darkest retreat. My thing is, and like all the media does this, Aaron Rodgers does the same thing every year. He leads you astray, don't know what is going on. Like, we won't know. Like, just come out and say it. If, if it's something important, just, you know, say it already. Instead of prolonging it and letting things go further. Like, let's not prolong it. Let's not. Yeah, let's just don't prolong it. Just come out and say what you want to say. You're going to be traded. You're getting a contract. What it is. Don't prolong it. Don't be like, oh, I'm going on a darkness re- retreat or this summer I'm going to work out and focus on my golf game. No. We don't need that. Not at all. We don't need that at all. So, <laughs> like I said, we don't need that. Don't need that type of smoke. Just come out and say what you're going to do and just leave it at that. So, with that being said, we don't know if he's going to, yeah, we don't know 
if he's going to stay, leave. But we do got teams that's interested in him. The Jets are interested in him. As well as Derek Carr. Derek Carr is a free agent and is able to sign with any team as he see fit since he's released by the, the Raiders. What he going to do? And so far, I heard the Saints, who are over the salary cap, so they will have to drop some pay players. They are like $55 million over the salary cap. We'll see how that goes when the league year starts in there. Um, the Jets also an interest in Derek Carr. And then so are the Panthers. Let's see what what they go. Like, you got those two teams, but Aaron Rodgers, make up your mind. Say what you're going to say and do what you're going to do. And that's about, that's just the bottom line. Do it that way. So, we'll see with that. Cardinals hire Nick Rallies as defensive coordinator and Drew Pegzine as offensive coordinator. Rebuilding their coordinators. Um, both of them covered. Panthers hired Thomas Brown as offensive coordinator. And newly acquired coach Jim Caldwell, who's a senior, what is it, senior analysis assistant or something like that, senior assistant, said he's done seeking out head coaching jobs. Um, he's going to focus on the, the task at hand. That's the job he have right now. But he's done seeking head coaching jobs, which I, I don't blame you, you 60. He was like, I just do what I need to do and do what I'm good at. So, he's done doing that. Chargers, uh, defensive coordinator, Chargers former defensive coordinator, Ronaldo Hill, is heading to the Dolphins to join Fangio staff and will be the defensive pass game coordinator. Yeah, it's too many different subtitles and titles for that. But he's done with that. He's heading over to he was with Vangio before, so he's gonna be under Vangio again when A was with the Broncos. So he's going there. They would the Chargers will promote Derek Anisley to defensive coordinator since Ronaldo Hill left. And Aaron Jones had his con is reworking a deal to stay in Green Bay. Sources that was per his agent. He's going to rework his deal, stay in Green Bay. John Bolamalico, I don't know if I'm saying that right, is retiring from coaching. He had quite the journey, 39 years of coaching, um, couple of assistants, couple of head coaching, but he's returning. His journey is coming to an end. And then the coach is expected to hire Jim Bob Kuta as offensive coordinator. Y'all y'all heard y'all heard that name right. Jim Bob Kuta. No, he don't have the cooties, but he will be running the offense. Notre Dame promotes Gerald Parker to offensive coordinator. And Kim Weisenhunt will join Alabama staff as a special assistant head coach under to Nick Saban. So, we'll see how that goes and where it goes and how it goes. Jaguars extend Robinson Harris three year extension. Roy Robinson Harris, so he gets a three year extension to end, um with Jacksonville. Did pretty good last season anyways. It's a twenty four million contract with fourteen million guaranteed. So that's good. I, I like what I see with when they do that. Nagy will take the reins as offensive coordinator role. Since y'all know, as I stated, 
VMEs now the commander's offensive coordinator. Nagy's going to take the offensive role for the Chiefs. He's going to run plays. Like, I ain't going to lie. Nagy runs some good plays. It's just we didn't really have no line, um, a defensive line. I mean, basically, everybody that Nagy and Pace drafted as far as the Bears, they went away. So, we don't know what's going on with that. We don't know how that's going to go. Like, I, I legit don't know how that's going to go. But, let's see. Because especially with the the Bears have the number one pick, the first overall pick, um, I'll, you know, we'll see. Like, we'll see how that goes, where, where they go. Because, like I said, they don't have... They have the first overall pick, and hopefully they don't trade Justin Fields for Bryce Young. That everybody keeps saying, like Justin Fields, the young quarterback, he needs a line, he needs protection. You also need a star-studded receiver to throw to, not not like your second or third string receivers that you got from, like your third option receivers that you got from all the teams to make a receiving core. No, he needed like a big shot receiver to throw to as well. Um, running back has been pretty good. I just, and then defense is like, we're lacking. We're not the monsters of midway anymore. We need to be the monsters of midway. When I say we need to be the monsters of midway, we need to get cracking, crunching. Brian Erlacher, you know, Pat Tillman, Amos. We need to go back to those guys. And just build up. So, we got draft picks. Utilize them. Don't trade up. Now, if if you stay in the first round, but make sure you get the guy that you want. And that's how I look at it. Get the guy you want. And then do that. Or just, like I said, stay in the first round. People are going to give up picks just so they can get the first overall pick to get the person that they want. Utilize it. We only use that pick twice in history. And it's only the third time that we got the first overall pick. So, utilize it. That's all I'm saying. Just utilize it. Mo, uh, <laughs> Rams part ways with Bobby Wagner just so they agreed to part ways. Um, so, now he's a free agent. Bears, y'all here. We got a, a linebacker that's an all-pro linebacker who's a free agent. Put him on a new team, might revamp himself. Um, but that saved the Rams thirty-two million, and he's thirty-two, but he's good. So yeah, that's that. Y'all can add him. Y'all can even add Jalen Ramsey, who's twenty-eight, who's also in college. It's like basically a lot of the people with the Rams are leaving. So, y'all can add that and, you know, get it cracking that way. Y'all got options and choices. So, with that being said, do the right thing, Bears. Go to work. But with that being said, though, we got some more music coming up for you on Dragon Sports Live. If you vibing and rocking, check me out on YouTube at D-O-N-P-E-1. Or if you want to listen, you can go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or where you get your podcast and type in Dragon Sports Live. And be sure to go to www.dragonjumppro.com. Links to everything is on there. Social media, on there. Links to podcasts, on there. YouTube, on there. So go there too. But... Let's hit with Drop the Bag DJ D93 on Dragon Sports Live. Nigga, put your money where your mouth is. I swear to God, niggas think we need them. Bitch, I got my own money. Now, fuck that. Matter of fact, put this pussy where your mouth is. <laughs> Bitch. What? Fuck ass nigga. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm an independent bitch. I don't never need a man. Talking about a money bag. Nigga, buy me a lamb. I'ma put you to the test. Say you wanna see some ass. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'm an independent bitch. I don't never need a man. Talk about a money bag. Nigga, buy me a lamb. I'ma put you to the test. Say you wanna see some ass. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'ma make you drop a bag. Fuck I'm good, I go bananas and shit. He be moaning, I dismantle the dick. Call me bitch, it turn me on when I'm lit. I'ma drown him, he can't handle the drip. Pretty pussy, got that gorilla grip. It's like, why the hell can I want a sip? He say he want a relationship. I love the way he let me fuck on his lips. Licky, licky, know you wanna stick me. Make him chase, I ain't no fucking pick me. He gon' cook it, he gon' do the dishes. I ain't gotta ask, cause this pussy hitting. Ain't saving no name, his contact a horse. Pull up incognito, my Uber or Porsche. I'm throwing this shit, I be rocking the bowl. He catching this shit and then begging for more. Yeah, yeah. What you know about that little bitch? Get into him, might learn some shit. You can't get this off, no flick. Yeah, yeah. Trying to put you on game, little bitch. Make him all your name, little bitch. Make the nigga trick off on a chain, little bitch. I'm an independent bitch. I don't never need a man. Talking about a money bag. Nigga, buy me a lamb. I'ma put you to the test. Say you wanna see some ass. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'm an independent bitch. I don't never need a man. Talk about a money bag. Nigga, buy me a lamb. I'ma put you to the test. Say you wanna see some ass. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'ma make you drop a bag. These niggas talk more than these bitches. That's why I'll never let them hit it. He tryna lick on his Yanni. He wanna do me like I was his hobby. Just had the double, can't fuck with it. Let's see, buy me Chanel cause I'm clutching shit. Yeah, it's tight like my feet ends. I'll make him go off the deep end. Fuck it with me, how you tweaking? Love the way I shake that shit. Don't be talking big if I can't see that print. Don't really got time for a nigga. Build my wolf and I'm stacking them figures. Drop me a meal and I might reconsider. Better get active right after this liquor. I call him baby, his face is a sitter. I'm not finna cook, you can eat me for dinner. These niggas do fuck for the fame. He want me to change his last name. I'm living like Ray can't complain. They think I'm a star, but I can't be detained. Every day I'm finna pop my shit. Bitches throw shade, but I block that shit. If it ain't down M's, then it just ain't it. Double C's on the wrist, diamonds dance like Chris. I'm an independent bitch. I don't never need a man. Talking about a money bag. Nigga, buy me a lamb. I'ma put you to the test. Say you wanna see some ass. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'm an independent bitch. I don't never need a man. Talk about a money bag. Nigga, buy me a lamb. I'ma put you to the test. Say you wanna see some ass. I'ma make you drop a bag. I'ma make you drop a bag. Fuck. Nigga said he just got that 10K play. Bitch, I want that whole motherfucking thing. I want a big Birkin, big Chanel, every motherfucker. I want the whole fucking store, bitch. Bring me that. Jordan L. 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 Me, 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 me at the bar. I had less than other niggas had. That's why I go and get it and I bring it back. I'm pushing forward, I'm wanting more, so I'm pushing fast. Slow and steady ain't me, must of my impatient ass. Uh, sessions by selected portions of my past. Over a hundred thousand rounds with this pen and pad. But it go James, Rick James, no Trinidad. Hey girl, your friend can ride too, that's a buddy pad. If the gal talking about a lab, talking about some ass. Petty cash, ain't really petty, just an easy stash. Bad debit, I swipe the credit if I need it bad. Lost my heart, but I'ma need it back. French fries from five guys. Yeah. Listen up to run my city like a marathon. Okay. Tell them meet the young god at the finish line. I grew up a school up on the east side. Broad cellophane, spreading legs like a peace sign. Okay. Trying to kick it with a chung lead like a street fight. Woo. Then hit the block to curb dots like a turnpike. Hey, pedal to the metal for a change of pace. Okay. Everything a nigga spit for real like a bathing right. ape. Show some love to the young god like a praise break. Water into wine, we do it every day. Mr. 
to Royal Searching, did you find me? I'm 510, shit, I'm feeling like I'm 9'3. Ain't throwing shade, but this young is chopping down trees. It ain't no way these other find niggas can I find me. me. My head spinning, right. find me with the squad. My team winning, hey. point me to the cash, I promise you I'ma get it. Hey. Bitch, I'm on my job like I'm standing on the building. Right. Find me at the bar. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Drag Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, and that last song you just heard was Jordan L. Find me on Drag Sports Live. Just like that, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Dragon Jump Pro. And you can also check out my website, Portfolio, at www.dragonjumppro.com. So you can do that as well. Moving on on. In the NBA, WNBA, NCAA has been going down. When I say, so Brittany Griner will start with the WNBA. Brittany Griner is back with the Mercury on a one-year deal. Diana, Diana Tarasi signs a multi-year deal with the Mercury. Marad Jepson signs a free agent deal with the Mercury. And that's about what going on with the Mercury. Like, we will see Brittany Griner um, in the 2023 season. Once the 23 season comes around for the WNBA, we will see her. We will see that. We will see Tarasi. Connect son, re-sign Brianna Jones. And then the Sparks been busy as well. So they signed Yang Li Wei. And that's the second China born player uh signed by the Sparks. First was Zhang Hasia in 1997. Sparks Sparks um will miss Stephanie Tobo will miss season with Torn ACL. But they also resigned the Agumike sisters, Nika and Chanel. Both got resigned and will be back there. Last weekend, we had the wonderful All Star weekend or mid season break, as I call it, as far as um, the teams. You know, my Celtics, Jason Tatum scored 50, a record 55 and wins. All-Star MVP. Of course, Team Giannis gets that dub in that because he was part of Team Giannis. Giannis only played all but two minutes, get like two points, got out and sat out the rest of the game. So did LeBron. Um, In the dunk contest, it was won by, won by G-Leaguer, um, Mac McClung. So before, he was just on a G-League team solely and then end up signing a two-way contract with the 76ers. He wins dunk contest. Dane wins the three-point contest. And then Pelicans' Jose Alvarado wins Rising Star MVP, as well as his team won um, as well. So, we'll see how that goes. Now, it was reported that Giannis, he does have a sprained ligament in his wrist, so he's going to be doing treatment until the pain subsides. On top of that, he's um, he had a knee injury, so he didn't play the last game. He'll be out against their next game against the streaking um, against the Suns, so he'll be out for that game. And hopefully, you know, he gets better. You know, is getting that playoff push, so he might push through that pain. Miles Leonard is back in the NBA. He signed a ten day deal with the Bucks. So he's back with them. And like I said, I mentioned before that, you know, Miami Heat officially signed Kevin Love and Cody Zeller to their rosters. 
Love was in the starting lineup the first game, which I was proud of. Well, I was shocked, actually. So, Love was in there. It was him, Bam, uh, Butler, Hero, and uh, Vincent in the starting lineup. That's who that was. And it was a pretty decent lineup, even though they lost their first game. But it was a pretty decent lineup. Oh, wait. Yeah, they lost their first game. And second game, I believe. Pretty decent lineup. Now I go to the other side. Russell Westbrook had that buyout with the Jazz, and he signed with the Clippers. And his first game was spoiled by the Kings. Um, by the Kings, that game went to overtime. De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk combined for eighty-seven points total, and uh, Westbrook came in breaking records like. He dished out 14 assists. Wasn't done in in Clippers history, but to be honest, Westbrook is a person that is needed that allows Kawhi and Paul George to play off the ball because both of them are forwards. So the last one play off the ball, don't have to run everything through those two. You can let Westbrook set you up and get you on and do things like that. So... I, I like what i seen from that. Patrick Beverly came home, too. He came after he got his buyout with the Magic. He uh he came back to Chicago, and he also started as well. So it's like both of these players just coming with the team, started. He gave us eight points, but he gave us defense and energy and tenacity. And I can just see Patrick Beverly now cursing people out when they're not playing defense, like, Let's just say Zach Levine, for example. He's going to be cursing Zach Levine out to play defense. Like, get in, the, get in his grill. Get get your body on there. It was all smiles, but he scored eight points in his debut. Bulls then rolled the Brooklyn Nets in his debut. So, it's like the first game, it was the first game without, this is the second game without KD and Kyrie on there. No Ben Simmons. He was, he's uh. Will be reevaluated injury with an injury, and everybody else was there. Bulls just steamrolled them. They won every quarter except the fourth quarter. They kept the lead throughout the whole game. That at least that what I watched. So that was good. That was actually pretty great too. I ain't gonna stunt. Their next game is against Washington. So. We got to climb, keep climbing that ladder, guys, if we want to at least make the play in. But let's aim higher. We know we can take down these top-tier teams. Um, we just got to be consistent, shoot three-pointers, grab boards, grab rebounds. And everybody was rebounding in that last game against the Nets, too. So it's going to take a team effort in order to do so. Let's give that, you know. Thing. And you know, speaking about the Nets, the Nets give Jock Vaughn basically they take the interim tag off Jock Vaughn, so he gets a multi year extension. Like they give him an extension, cool. Now, here's my thing Hawks fired Nick McMillan basically right out the All Star, the All Star games, like two days later. Nick McMillan is fired, but then Joe Pooney will be the interim head coach who was there before. Why did they fire? They feel like they needed to go a different route. We don't know, but mid season, no. Like Larry out the All Star, no games play, being played. All the games started happening Thursday was the first set of games. Yeah, no, that was planned. Wizards wave wave Will Barton, so they put him on the wave wire. Teams will pick him up, and we'll we'll go from there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what's got what's going on in the NBA. So, with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next show of Drag Sports Live. 
Stay tuned and thanks for rocking with us here on Dragon Sports Live. If you missed the show, you can catch it on YouTube at D O N P E 1. Be sure to drop the like button and subscribe as well as you can follow it on www.dragonjumppro.com or you can go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or wherever you get your podcast and type in Dragon Sports Live. With that being said, I'm Dante Payne signing out, chucking up the deuces. Catch you on the next show. Peace.